Hey guys, it's Lindsay. Welcome back to my channel and we are going to do a first impressions today. I got this package from Hourglass and Influencer the other day and it contains the new Hourglass Vanish foundation so I'm really excited to try it out today. So I believe this is a brand new foundation. I think it just got released on the Sephora's website a couple of days ago. Um, I did get two different packages or two different boxes. Um, the first one is um, a brush actually to apply it and then this one is the actual foundation and it is a stick style foundation so let me go ahead and show you what that looks like. So this is what the packaging looks like and I I got the shade bisque hopefully it's a good match for me I'm not quite sure and it just kind of looks like that it is kind of a triangle shape um, and you can roll it up that way um, to get more product um, and it seems um, like it might be a good match it's kind of hard you know they kind of just ask you a couple of questions and you don't know um, when you're answering the questions on influencers website what exactly you're going to be getting so just kind of answering the questions each brand is different so hopefully like I said this is gonna be a good match um, but let me give you a quick swatch and again this is the shade bisque So that's what it looks like. That's my very first swatch of this product. Um, it looks a little bit yellow on my hand, um, but hopefully once I put um, all my makeup on, it'll look really good with my skin tone. So we also got a brush for application as well, and this is what this looks like. It's kind of tapered here, kind of like a kabuki style brush. Hopefully that is focusing for you. There we go, that might be better. Um, so like I said, it's a little bit tapered and it's kind of a kabuki style brush. It's pretty dense, not the most dense brush I've ever felt, but it is pretty dense. So um, we will be using this today to apply the foundation. And then I just went ahead and kind of buffed out the foundation swatch on my hand here and it looks pretty good. So I think this is gonna be a good match for me. And I got a little card here explaining all about this foundation. So I'm gonna read you the claims and there are quite a few, so I have really high hopes for this. Um, some of the features and benefits say that this is going to double the amount of pigment, or that this is double the amount of pigment uh, versus traditional foundations for instant full coverage. The formula adjusts to body temperature to blend into skin for the smoothest, most seamless finish. This is a 12 hour long wearing waterproof formula. It is available in 26 shades, which is pretty good. Um, a lot to choose from. And then as far as the brush goes, it is a high performance PETA approved foundation brush designed for the ideal shape, density, and texture to achieve the most seamless finish. And then as far as the results from people using this foundation, they say 100% of people reported Vanish foundation was fast and easy to use. 97% reported that Vanish covers redness and skin imperfections. 94% of people reported that this foundation covered skin discoloration, pores, blemishes, and dark under eye circles. And 90% reported that this uh, foundation covered hyperpigmentation and dark spots. So um, as far as how to use this, let me go through here so we make sure to use this the correct way. It says to prep skin with the Veil Mineral Primer. Unfortunately, I don't have that primer, so I'm not going to be able to use that. I will use a different primer, though. Um, and then it says to apply two to three dots of Vanish Foundation to each section of the face, the forehead, cheeks, and chin. Start with less and add more as necessary. The formula is highly concentrated. And then you buff it in with the foundation brush in tiny circular motions for the most seamless finish. So um, it sounds pretty easy, so let's just go ahead and uh, put this on my face. Here's the primer that I'm going to be using today. This is the Jane Iredell Smooth Effect primer. I've been using this a lot lately and I really like this so hopefully this works well with the foundation. Oh I'm almost out of this. Hopefully I can cover my whole face. Let's see. Um, but I have been using this quite a bit and I do really like the finish of it. So. Alright now I'm just going to dot the foundation stick all over my face and then we will buff it in. It's at like three dots. It's like all you need. So there you go. And then let's see here. it is. I don't know. So there you go. That's how many I'm going to do and then we will uh, go ahead and buff it in. I think I'm definitely going to need to put some more on to cover my redness and uh, hyperpigmentation and all that stuff. But um, it is blending out really, really well. Um, I really like this so far. I think obviously I'm just started to use this, but I do like how seamless this is blending in, and usually I'm more of a beauty blender type of person, I think that gives a much nicer finish, but this is working really, really well with this brush. That just kind of invisibly blends into my skin, that's pretty incredible, um, but I do think I need to put a little bit more on. Um, it definitely has some coverage, but I would like a little bit more coverage, I think, today, so, so let's see how well this layers on top of itself. I didn't put any down here either, so. I think the color is a really good match. 
attached to and it looks like absolutely flawless like you can't even tell that I'm wearing foundation Wow as far as if I think it's full coverage no, I don't think so. At least not with the amount that I put on. You would need to use a lot more because I've got all these um, like sunspots right here, which I know is terrible. Um, but I do, and it's definitely not covered those. It's made them look better, but it's not covered them completely. Um, but I'm going to leave the foundation like this, and then I'm going to go put on the rest of my makeup, and I will do another check-in just so you can see how it looks all together with the full face of makeup. And then I will check in um, later throughout the day so we can see how it wears. Okay, so here's what the foundation looks like now with all of my other makeup put on top of it. And I have to say, I'm really, really liking this. I think it looks absolutely beautiful. Um, and I didn't tell you what time I initially put the foundation on, and I did that about 2.45 in the afternoon, so a little bit later than I'd like to get um, my makeup on during the day, but we had some other stuff going on this morning, so I wasn't able to hop on camera and do that until then. Um, and it is now, what time is it now? Um, it is now 4.02, so it's been on for a little bit over an hour, and I gotta say, I am absolutely loving this. Let me put my mirror up here. Um, yeah, I think it looks pretty dumb flawless it looks gorgeous I'm so impressed we will see how well this wears throughout the entire day because I did get such a late start I'm not going to be able to do a full 12 hour wear test on this foundation but I can probably at least do six seven or maybe even eight hours um, so I will definitely pop on in the next couple of hours um, oh I did want to tell you the price let me go ahead and look that up I meant to do that before I uh, started this video but I didn't tell you the price so let me go ahead and see if I can find this on the Sephora's website all right, so here's the Hourglass Vanish Foundation pulled up on the Sephora website. It does retail for $46, which seems kind of expensive, especially because you only get 0.25 ounces worth of product. Now, this is a stick foundation, so keep that in mind. It's going to probably be a little bit different than a liquid foundation, and those you typically get one ounce. I don't think I've ever used a stick foundation. It's been a long time if I have. Um, I don't know how many ounces typically come in those, but just beware, you only get 0.25 ounces in this one. I believe, like I said, there is 26 shades, so a lot to choose from and I just think this looks beautiful right now so I'm going to go about my day and I will check in with you guys in a little bit one more thing before I go, I forgot to mention the brush. Um, this also pulls up on the Sephora website. This is called the Vanish Foundation Brush and it retails for $46. I loved this brush. I do think $46 is a little bit pricey, but it's fabulous. I think this just did such an awesome job on my foundation. Usually I like the look of a beauty blender better with my foundation, but this I think just did such an awesome job. It's not streaky or anything. Here, I'll give you a close up of what my uh, skin looks like right now. You guys, it's awesome. I'm so impressed with this foundation so far and like I said I don't think it's completely full coverage I would say it's bordering on full coverage maybe with the amount that I use so like medium to like slightly full coverage I'd say um, and it just looks very skin like I don't think it's too matte it's not too dewy it just looks really really great so hopefully um, you know continuing throughout the day it continues to hold up it said 12 hours worth of wear so I have high hopes uh, but I did want to come on and tell you um, what the price of the brush was um, and so now I'm gonna get going and I will check in with you guys in a little bit oh there's dad we're all in the car right yep. oh there's all of us and take me down my frog oh and your frog yeah, yeah I got your frog I'm just doing a check-in for this foundation. It has been about three hours. It's about 5.45 right now. So um, I think it's holding up really well and you can kind of see what it looks like in more natural light right now. Um, and I think the color match is really good. So I'm happy that that's the color that they sent me. I think it worked really well. Um, but yeah, so far so good. I'm really liking this. Oh, can I do you some? There you go. Yes, there you go. There's Harry. <laughs> Oh my goodness, you are crazy, aren't you? Yeah. All right, uh, so I will probably not check in again until we are home sometime later tonight. Bye. Hey guys, so it is now about 9.30, so this foundation has been on for just about seven hours now, not quite, uh, but here you can see what it looks like. Uh, it looks good, um, but it is kind of shiny, so I'm not loving that, but it has not broken down on me. You know, you don't see those little, you know, kind of creepy little weird uh, flecks or anything on my face, so it has stayed together for at least seven hours. I know this foundation claims to have 12-hour wear, so so far so good. I'm not going to be able to test it for a full 12 hours right now, but as you can can see I'll get close up um, it looks pretty good just it is pretty shiny but it is not broken down as I said so that's what it looks like 
I think I would really like this in the fall and winter time when my skin is more dry. My skin um, during the summer is usually kind of normal to oily. It's not super oily. And then during the winter, I do go um, pretty dry. So, um, you know, my skin really changes throughout the year. So I think I'm going to hold on to this foundation and use it more uh, towards the fall and winter time. I have so many foundations right now that I think I'm going to like better at that time of year. I really just don't like how shiny my face is right now, unfortunately. I do think this gives a beautiful finish. It looks really, really nice. And when I first put it on this afternoon, it looked so, so beautiful. The color match, I think, is spectacular. I'm really, really happy that I went with this color or that influencer sent me this color. I think it's great. And for being so oily, I am really impressed that it has not broken down. Usually when I get super oily with a foundation like this, it does break down. So this is a pretty cool foundation. I definitely would recommend this if you have drier skin or if you have oily skin, um, maybe wait and use it in the winter. I think you would maybe like it a little bit better then. I really enjoyed testing this out today. I'm going to use it again um, maybe if I'm not needing to wear it for you know a full six hours or whatever if I'm making a video or something I will put it on I definitely will try this out for the full 12 hours later on in the year uh, when I'm not so oily and again I think this brush is really great too I'd be very curious to see how this works with other foundations and then I'd be very curious to see how the foundation works with different brushes or a beauty blender see if that really makes a difference I don't think it would make a difference as far as how oily I've gotten but just to kind of see um, the different finishes that it gives um, but I do think this brush worked beautifully Beautifully. It was not streaky at all and usually I have that problem when I use a brush over a beauty blender So I'm super super impressed with how well this brush worked but I think that's going to be it for this first impressions if you have any questions feel free to let me know down in the comments below But I hope this was helpful for you in case you were uh, curious about this foundation if you're thinking about picking it up I would recommend it again. I think it would work better for people with dry skin uh, But if you do have oily skin it might work better for you uh, in the fall or winter when it's just kind of more dry out But thank you guys so much for watching today. I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel. We can also connect on Instagram. I will have a link listed in the description box and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!